Close your eyes, focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, watch it all the way out. And then with the next breath, and then the next. Just keep staying with the same topic as long as you can. The mind is used to jumping around, which is why it's so tense all the time. It's like a cat jumping from one unstable place to another unstable place, and it's going to be tense all the time. Even when it lands, it's tense, because it's tensing up where it's stable is on. Excuse me, where it's standing is unstable, and it knows it's going to have to move. So it's tense all the time. The same with the mind. It's jumping here, jumping there. never gets a chance to settle down and be at peace. So here's a chance to give it some of that time. You have no other responsibilities right now. Just stay right here. Allow the mind to settle in, settle in, settle in. Anything that would pull you away, you don't have to pay attention to it. You don't have to be responsible for it. Give the mind some time to be its own self, to look after its own self. Because the mind spends so much time looking after the world, trying to straighten out this, straighten out that. And if it doesn't get straightened out, of course, then the place where it's coming from is not all that good. And so if you're coming from a bad position, it's hard really to straighten other people out, straighten the situation out and really do a good job. So by putting aside your responsibilities right now, you're not being irresponsible. It's like when you work. There comes a time when you have to stop working, so you have to eat. And even though no work is getting done while you're eating, you, you couldn't be able to continue work through the rest of the day unless you didn't stop and eat at some point. It's the same with the mind. In order to take on your responsibilities and handle them well, you really do have to put them aside from time to time. This is, knowing, this is called knowing how to look after your mind, how to take care of your mind, so it doesn't run out. In other words, your goodness doesn't run out. Because it's when we start getting weak, that's when it's difficult to do the right thing or say the right thing or think the right thing, because it takes energy to do those things. And if we've been using up our energy on useless fruiting away, it's a real waste. So know when to think, know when not to think. In John Lee's image, it's knowing when to use your knife and when to put it back in the scabbard. You put it in the scabbard, you, you sharpen it, you bathe it with oil to make sure it doesn't get rusty, and then you put it away. And then you pull it out only when you really need to cut something. That way when you cut through, it cuts right through. One, one blow and it's, the job is done. If the knife isn't sharp, then you just keep cutting and cutting and nothing happens because the blade is dull. So sharpen your knife and then keep it in here so it can cut things through when you need them.